my experience at the Edinburgh House or the Edinburgh Manor in Scotch Grove, Iowa. So first I kind of I'm just going to start with like the tour and everything she told us. So we got we got there and my tour guide or she had her daughter with her and she's seven and the daughter is not scared. She goes in there. Um, there's a couple of times where she says some spooky stuff because she has kids eyes and ears. So yeah, Yikes. so we go in there. She kind of explains the rules. No Ouija boards, no seances, no smoking inside. <clears throat> No fire. It is said that people have been have played like bloody bloody Mary the game inside with the mirrors and stuff. I'm not. I've never played but bloody Mary, and I don't think I've ha whatever because mirrors actually scare the shit out of me. So I've played it. It works. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. She had to tell us a story. Yeah. It's a kind of a quick story, so I just tell it real quick. But we were, uh, I'd say like 14, 15, four of my friends were all inside uh, his mom's house. We went in the bathroom, and I don't know what we were doing in there, fucking around. But we ended up like, let's do Bloody Mary, let's do Bloody Mary. And I'm like, my mom's super su superstitious, so I don't do the whole, but I'm in the bathroom. And I shit you not, we're smoking cigarettes in the bathroom, right? So we do the Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, and I shit you not, there's a flash of light that comes from the bottom of the door. So everybody freaks the fuck out and starts running for the door. It's dark as hell, so everybody's burning each other with a cigarette. It was the worst experience. Oh my gosh. Like, like you have like four, like, you know, mid-sized teenagers, some of them bigger than others, rushing at one little door, trying to get out. Nobody's hitting the light. They were all getting burnt by the, but we all saw the flash. And that was terrific. That is so scary. I was going to do it at church camp, but all the, everyone else was too scared and I didn't want to do it by myself. Sure, and I was like am. 13 or 14. <laughs> They're like, no, we shouldn't do that. And I was like, yeah, you're probably right. But that is so scary. Karen does the Ouija board stuff. You do Ouija boards? Why am I just finding out about this? But Karen um, is super spooky, bro. Like, why she's always here. Best why friend she's issue. Always here? I've tried it. Jeez. I mean, yeah. Man, it's... we were in Tennessee and we were in some scary ass town. I'm like, this town was super scary. She goes into an abandoned jail. It was so cool. She went the in. The, some so local cool. had to come up and be like, please don't go in there. There's poison ivy all oh. around this. And she's just in the jail trying to go in the cell, take pictures. I'm like, are you kidding me? Who does this? I'm not going in there. I'm going to lose my it wife. It was today. such a cool building, though. I had to have been like 100 years old. And I have never seen poison ivy before. I live in the desert, so I didn't know. Well, oh, that's that. awesome. It was so cool. I took pictures. In Wait, did you get the? Did you get poison ivy? No. no. Well, she took oh. pictures in the jail, though. Mm-hmm. Sure did. I'll that's find it and share it with you. Nice. Um, that's awesome. What the heck? Okay. So, one, unfortunately, one of the... You know how I said that the blue room and... I don't know if you guys remember, but the blue room and the red room are supposedly connected. Well, that was just made up for TV. That's not actually true. Which I was wondering because I could only find it on the episode of Destination Fear. I could not find it anywhere else so i was wondering and yeah she told me that it was just made up for the tv the reason why one room is colder than the other is because the sun sets in that side of the building so that is you know darker before the other room it's the only reason why so nothing with that um the original building was in 1840s. It was built in the 1840s, so I did find out that to be true. And then it got... It said it got demolished, but there was also pictures of it being transported by a horse and carriage being pulled. So the building that stands now has part of the basement in, that has the original building, and then part of the first floor women's wing has first building everything else got rebuilt after in 1910 when it became the poor farm uh, which is so like history but another thing is is there is about 230 document 
documented deaths on site um they are finding out more every single day because apparently in jones county you can't look up death certificates without a name so um i know her team the tour guides team is in there all the time trying to get names and trying to fact check them you know if you get a name through the spirit box she tries to fact check them which is that little book that i was telling karen about she made this whole book about all the ghosts and all their and all the death certificates that confirm deaths so in jones county you have to wait 75 years in order to look up death certificates so there's about 230 confirmed deaths so far but they're learning about new ones every single day and there's still 75 years worth that they have no idea so that's pretty cool so maybe there'll be even more when i go but i'm definitely going back <laughs> <laughs> i want to know more don't do it <laughs> Well, I'm not, I'm gonna keep going until something physical happens because I need to know if this is real or bullshit. So, do you believe that you could manifest it yourself? Because I, I kind of believe that. I believe that if you believe in it strong enough, if you want something, it'll you know you'll start having stuff. I mean, I you think see it so. more in church than probably ghost stuff. But I don't do ghost stuff, but I've seen it in other settings. I think so, but I also feel like that's just your mind like our mind does such incredible things so i don't know it's so difficult so i'm gonna talk about the spirits a little bit because some of these i didn't even put in so the first picture i took these are kind of out of order but i'm just gonna go through the pictures i took so the resident spirit uh this one is a male spirit that is mostly on the second floor men's wing he can be almost anywhere, but is often found near room 224 at the rear or the red room at the end of the long hallway. He likes to set off equipment such as motion or EMF and will also speak on the spirit box when spoken to nicely. I love that because so many people go in there just demanding things. So I'm, I love that he's just like, I'm not going to talk to you unless you talk to me nicely. Um, and then on the ovulus, his name comes through as Rust, but it's believed that his name is actually Rusty, and Rusty is not an option on the device, because it's a, oviluses are preset with about 2,000 to 5,000 word database, which I didn't really know before, so that's kind of interesting, because it makes me think that it's preset with only spooky words, so I don't know, that kind of made me think a little bit. And while it may or may not be rusty, a shadow figure has been photographed on many occasions outside the red room doorway. And then this next one, room 224, is the location of the second floor of the men's wing, which we just kind of talked about, and is above the pool room. Several names have been captured here by different teams. There have also been more than one spirit interacting in this area. Prominent male spirit in this location known to be sometimes aggressive. He interacts with spirit box often and has also known to physically interact, including pushing, scratching, and even hitting. The more aggressive the physical behavior seems to be directed towards women. The spirit also interacts with EMF directed... Uh, sorry, I... EMF and other light devices on occasion there was a photo taken by a tour guest that resembles a man coming out of the wall into the room there are reports such as sls footage showing very large tall figures standing just outside the doorway in that room and then some people also get a burst of energy that sometimes gets overwhelming and affects people causing dizziness and even fainting which none of that happened to us but there was a few things that did happen that i'll talk about in a little bit and then also in my research the i found found that in so there's the toy room that most of the little kids are in but across the hall from the toy room is a storage room and in my research i stated that there was a janitor that hung himself with the belt but it actually was not a janitor and the story is much more sad so in room to 121 across the hallway from the toy room on the men's wing the first floor which is now a janitor's closet it was once the room of paul paul had lived with his mother until she passed away in the 50s his siblings didn't know what to do with paul since he was um 
mentally ill, mentally handicapped, and they didn't want to take care of him, so they just dumped him at the manor. <laughs> so not only did he lose his mom, he also pretty much lost his entire family because they just dumped him there. And determined to leave the manor, he did commit suicide by hanging himself with a bed sheet from the doorknob of his room. And he was found the next morning by a worker at the facility who is confirmed that he d is now dead. And then Paul Spears may still, may not still be at the location, but many people feel his residual sadness, anxiety, and overall heavy feeling went in his room. He was very intent on not remaining at the manor, so he, we hope that he is able to move on. So it's very sad. Um, I think it's very hard to not feel sadness and anxiety, especially when you're in the middle of nowhere at night and it's abandoned that has a, you know. Um, there was one room where I... Anytime I went near the room or inside the room, I felt very dreadful and I honestly wanted to cry. It just, but I think it's just because of what happened in the room, which I'll get to. Um, now this entity is in the basement and he has been seen as a tall, all black or all white figure, which they believe that there's different entities in the basement the tour guide told me and this so this is a joker and it the tour guide told me that the ghost adventures actually made up the name the joker for this man or this entity and it just kind of stuck but no one really knows his name and kind of ghost adventures just kind of made up the name so that was kind of interesting uh and then he's possibly nine foot tall he is taller than the pipes on the ceiling of the basement so sometimes you see him like hunched over he is known to be mischievous and has touched and pulled hair even pushed people in areas of the basement especially the long hallway between the dining hall and the laundry area he can also be felt as a cold spot or guest moves past. He actively interacts with EMF, rim pod, and other energy center devices. He can be heard through voice devices, EM EVP, spirit box, etc. Some people feel that he is a resident who's presenting himself as a large figure, while others feel that maybe he's sort of like an entity or energy. Um, I will say nothing happens. We were down there we had both of our emfs at one side of the hall and another at the other and we were trying to talk nothing happened it wouldn't turn uh go up from green at all didn't get anything on emf i don't know if they just didn't like us or we're just new people and they're just kind of keeping their distance it felt like something was walking with us i it really did but no no one wanted to talk to us even in the crazy demonic basement and there's three women like something should have scratched us i feel like i feel like they um munch on fear and if you guys weren't really that fearful they're like eh. i, know. <laughs> yeah, I was good. really scared to go easy. in the basement i did not want to go in the basement but yeah i don't maybe we weren't scared enough maybe because we we're so determined to actually figure out if this is real or not and we're not hyping ourselves up or getting scared over every single sound i don't know yeah <laughs> um room 105 is located on the first floor women's wing and is the large room in the front of the building the female spirit uh, sorry the female spirit in this room is known to interact with emf and other objects light up as well as communicate through evps and spirit box uh, this room does not seem to have more than one spirit, and the names are not confirmed, but to be aligned to, to... Sorry. The names are not confirmed to be aligned to specific activities. Some of the names associated with this room is Sarah and Rose. The Namel voice is also common in this room. So the tour guide told us that a lot of the times we hear, we will hear men in the women's wing. I don't know why. I think men just want to hang out with the girls you know they were separated so maybe they're just kind of having a party i don't know 
And then the purple room, room 202, is located on the second floor towards the woman's wing. This room has a female spirit that is known to be trying to find something. Uh, EVP and spirit box evidence has been acquired in this room and generally relates to words such as find it or looking for something. This room has extra dressers so she can continue her search wherever that is and whatever she is missing. Now, the blue room, nothing happened in here for us either. Uh, this is located on the second floor of the woman's wing at the end of the hall opposite to the red room so the red room and the blue room are down the hall from each other looking into each other and i wanted to have my little sister in one room and my mom in the other room while me and happy went like into the basement and kind of separated but they really didn't want to separate alone so that's something that i'm gonna make them do next time like we're here we're gonna do this but again it was so cold and we were so tired so we were just like it's fine we won't we whatever we'll do it later um the lady in the blue room is known to cause a lot of varied emotions based on her own emotional instability some say that she may be bipolar possibly going by the name helen other groups have gotten different names in this room confirmed interactions are mostly emotional effects on people anger sadness nausea headaches even faint people had to leave the room because of the physical emotion physical and emotional feelings that can be too overwhelming um now there is a padded room in the basement oh no which is really <laughs> sad because you know these people they're mentally ill and you know back in early in 1800 or, sorry late 1900s early 1800 1900s fuck mentally ill like mental illness was not really a thing so anytime someone misbehaved they would put on the straight jacket and thrown into the padded room they kind of left there until they decided that they were done um there is a male that may pull hair scratch or push people they have been thrown plates across the dining room has thrown dishes in the laundry room then again the where paul had committed suicide in the janitor's room the man who found him is actually still alive in the 80s so that is 100 percent confirmed by that man that it happened to a patient named paul and not the janitor like i said in my previous so i, I definitely wanted to get that confirmed and then let's see there is one sorry there's one that i wanted to what was it okay so the first floor there's a room in the first floor this is a room that I really, it took me a lot to be able to be in there, but one of the beds, and remember that these are all original bed frames and all original mattresses. One of the beds, a woman was sleeping and she had gotten assaulted and brutally raped in the bed. And those records, are really kind of sealed there are no names so we don't know who she was and we don't know who her attacker was but there is a theory that it was a worker considering how well protected documents are which is so sad that room affected me the most just because like i said it's original bedding so like original yeah, mattresses yeah. that it just i don't know it hurt my heart in a different way than everyone else's um, and then, of course, the little girl is Susie. And then there's also a little boy that runs around that likes to play games with you. Kind of like hide and seek. Uh, he'll make noise in one room and then you go and investigate and then he makes another noise down the hallway. He's about, he's reported to be about two to four years old. And then, of course, little Susie that likes to play in the 
uh, toy room. So now my experiences, personal experiences. Um, so right off the bat in the tour, my mom's camera dies. And it's like, this is great. We charge them all up. Brand new battery. It dies. Okay. So then my, we step outside of the building. My mom turns her camera back on and it's more than over half charged. That's what we thought because I'm test I've been testing my camera. Our cameras died so quick, literally not even an hour. But then I was like, I'm, when I get home, I'm going to test this shit. And mm, I tested it today and it took over two hours worth of footage before it died. So I don't know. I tried looking up to see if maybe certain spots. Like, you know how cell phone data, it, there's no signal. Maybe it affects a video camera the same way, kind of drain the battery. I couldn't find anything, but it was so freaky. Um, and then I swear I have to put this on my computer and blow it up. But when we were in the men's room, the pool table area, um, we were saying oh it's my mom's birthday can you tell her happy birthday and then i swear to god on the digital voice recorder it says it whispers happy birthday like it whispers happy birthday but it's so faint and i don't know if i'm making it up in my head but i swear it says that um and then there's another room upstairs in the women's wing that has a whole ass coffin in it nowhere I guess the coffin was brought in to be a trigger object. And when we were in there asking questions, I didn't get it on the digital recorder, but I got it on my camera mic. And it's a whisper that says, God damn it. And my mom and my sister were down the hall and Happy was asking questions. So it wasn't him whispering. I listened to it like a good 10 times oh, so i need man. to i don't know i think maybe like it, they just didn't want us like oh you guys are in here asking questions like everyone else like it's so annoying i don't know um <laughs> okay <laughs> so this is oh okay um so into the safe house we get in there, we get all bundled up. I start doing my schoolwork because I have a discussion due that's due in an hour that I was supposed to do on the way up there, but I I actually ended up driving. So I didn't do it. So I'm doing homework. My sister's doing homework while we're waiting for my mom and uh, happy to go get the pizza. And so I'm sitting on the couch and then next to the couch, there's like a big old rocking chair. I got, you know, those comfy ones that grandpas and dads always like to sleep in. Um, she was in that one. Everything's quiet. We're just minding our own business. And we hear a, hey, right in between us. I swear to God. I ignore it. I'm just like, I did not just hear that. But my sister stops what she's doing and kind of slowly looks over at me. And then I slowly look over at her. And she's like, did you just hear that? And I was like, no. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, what did you hear? And she goes, like a, like a hey. And I was like, oh my Oh. and then um we put the emf next to us and there was we made sure okay so full disclosures cell phones and um it's electric it's electrical devices so cell phones walkie talkies are known so we made sure our phones were away from us at a like at the coffee table in front of us and we put the emf there um sorry i'm stumbling put the emf on the couch arm towards the wall like behind the rocking chair and it kept going off a couple of times but i i don't know i can't explain the whisper hey that both of us heard that was freaky and that is what made me call my mom are you and your sister like close in age or yeah, she's 14 and i'm uh yeah so we're about 10 years apart 11 years apart so then we eat we charge up we sleep for about an hour while we wait for the cameras to charge 
and we go back in there and we kind of sit in the main room with the light on and the heater and kind of going through the book asking questions and it sounded like a couple times it sounded like we got our names like my little sister Nevaeh she said she swore she heard Elena on the spirit box when we asked if they could say one of our names we also got leave I also asked them where do you want us to go and it said up clear as day it said up like it wants us to go to the second floor and then I asked to confirm it and then it said up again oh my god so scary and I think this was honestly the scariest part so our cameras die again because for some reason something is eating them up and we go back to the house we're sitting, we're getting everything charged up. And my mom comes running into the front room and she goes, did you guys have a chocolate egg? Cause we got, we stopped and got like those chocolate eggs with caramel inside of them. And we're like, no. And she said, there's a fucking chocolate egg on the counter, half open and there's a bite taken out of it. And none of us had that's a fucking much, chocolate that's egg. Right there. We think it was a mouse. But How big was the, bite? the horror. I have a video of it. Oh my gosh. They love chocolate eggs. I'm thinking it's the little kid. It doesn't like a ch Yeah, 100%. It was shivers down my spine. And then my mom goes, pizza's gone. So we're thinking someone's in the house. But we found the pizza. <laughs> it was not gone. It was not eaten. So we finally go back inside again. And this is unfortunately our last time because it was so cold and we were so tired. We were up at, you know, 24 hours at this point. Um, Nothing really happens. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what else happened oh yeah so we're back in the room with the light on and the um heater we're going through stuff i'm kind of throwing out names to see if it will trigger anything we have both the emfs kind of close together facing the doorway but only the pink one is going off which is my mom's and <clears throat> So it was kind of weird and then we switched them and then the black one started going off and the pink one stopped so something was right in front of us just kind of hanging out with us and then it would leave the room and then come back and check on us like every it was just the weirdest thing but we were all sitting there we're doing like the digital vo voice recorder in the spirit box and me my mom and my sister all hear this fucking scream that sounds like it's coming from the toy room i almost pissed myself and we all looked at each other. Um, Happy didn't hear it because I'm pretty sure he was falling asleep. He was so fucking tired. And then it also sounded like there was voices talking outside the hallway. I couldn't make out what they were hearing. But if you sit there and stay quiet, I don't know if it's your our brains making shit up at this point because we're so tired. But it sounded like just a casual conversation between two men just talking. And then we hear the scream. I'm not going out there and looking. I don't know if it's a fucking animal, but I'm not going out there. I'm staying right here in this light, in this comfy ass heated area. I should have went out there and checked it out because, you know, we're supposed to be there investigating. But I was like, I'm not going to go out there. I feel safe in here. Whatever is coming in here and checking on us, I feel safe. Um, you ever think about like, like seriously documenting these and like writing like a little like, I don't know what you call it. Like your own little ghost adventures of what you've experienced. Yeah, I want to, but a lot of places, it just costs so much to spend the night there. We're and I feel like day tours just aren't really the same because day tours are public. So everyone, you know, who knows who's making the noises? It could be someone down the hall. Right, but I want, I'm, we're definitely going to go back and we're going to get better cameras and we're going to... So my camera that I have, you can charge it while it's 
recording so i'm gonna get a couple of like portable chargers so i can make sure that shit doesn't die and if it does die then obviously something is taking that shit right draining that battery um but the the scream i have never heard anything like that before that was insane um the hay like everything that me and someone else heard i feel like is a validation because it's not just me going crazy um so that is my little experience there i'm gonna go back until a door slams they're supposed to be door slamming they're supposed to be kids playing with the cat balls and toys i even before we went out the first time i went into the pool room and put the pool balls together and that if that wasn't moved so they just didn't want to I think they just wanted us to leave you know during the tour she had her own spirit box going and there was like three or four times it told us to leave so i don't know maybe they just didn't want to talk to us i mean it did eat a chocolate egg you said you're going <laughs> back until they slam doors on you yes i want to know if this shit is real i want to know i need to see it because you know how easy it is for I don't know. My thing is, you see these YouTubers, you see these, the TV shows especially, they're supposed to have the scary effect. And so you can literally see them creating their own shadows for like the intros, slamming doors on their own for the intro or the scary effects in between. So it's like how easy it is for them to act, do that when it's happening. So I want to know if it's real. So I'm going to go back. We're going to go back in around May or June. Now that I've been there and now I have the layout, it's not as scary. Because I was more scared about people breaking in. But she said that there's not, it does not happen a lot. It it typically only happens in October. Halloween people, that's when people kind of come in and try to break in when other people are investigating. That was really the only thing I was worried about. But I never got really a bad vibe besides that one room where that assault happened. Um, it, I feel like we got a couple things like in the EVPs with the goddamn and the happy birthday. I swear to God, I said happy birthday. I'm going to put it on my computer and blow it up and see if I hear it. But <clears throat> we got leave a couple times. I swore the spirit box said Damon, which is the happiest name. It sounded like it when we were asking if they could say one of our names. So... Yeah, hopefully my next experience will be a lot more scary. I want to be like ran out of the building, you know? But there's also a time where it felt like something brushed up against my leg, like grabbed my ankle, but I didn't want to say anything. Um, there's also another time where if I thought I saw a shadow go across the door because in the room that we were in, the heater, the light on, the two doors they have windows so i swear i saw that um but i i don't i didn't want to be one of those people that freak out about every single sound or every noise so i just didn't say anything um then when we left we had to go through the back door lock, deadbolt the back door and then go out the front door because the front door was already locked we go in and I swear to God, we hear like boots coming up the stairs, like work, working boot, like worker boots stomping up the stairs. So we stopped for a while, but he, uh, Happy said that he thinks it was just the rain because it was raining and he thinks it was the rain. But when we went to the basement earlier, it was raining. We didn't hear that type of pounding until we got into the basement and we were on the first floor so i i mean it was probably rain it was just you know something spooky at the moment but yeah i'm really yeah, excited to go back i won't be as it. nervous i won't have you know the jitters of it being the first time So and then they met you already so when you go back maybe they'll be more comfortable yeah we didn't really introduce ourselves either we introduced ourselves like two hours in, and i was like well maybe we should have 
done that before, but we were so <laughs> nervous and <laughs> our nerves were going crazy. <clears throat> and I said, there's a couple pictures. Um, I'm going to post in the Discord. Actually, I'm going to post it right now because it's fucking terrifying. And I couldn't, I could not stop thinking about this the entire time. I did not want to look outside i didn't want to go outside because of this picture that somebody apparently caught so i put it in spooky adventures in discord if you guys want to look at it but and then oh i forgot her daughter so wait what what'd you say no i'm saying while you were there they got that the one that you no saying? um so the tour guide she had her own personal book of people's experiences and the death certificates so for this house it was a poor farm, so people would, you know, work for housing, and it was also a place where people could dump people they don't want to take care of anymore, women who were... Hell no, that's like an alien or right? something. Right? People that think it's something. a fucking... People think it's a skinwalker. So it's I like was so scared. Um, the farm was... You could be put there for anything. Well, women especially, you know, back in the day, you th your husband didn't like the answer you gave them. So they're like, okay, well, I'm going to fucking take you to the insane asylum because you're not agreeing with me. So <laughs> a lot of different people were there. And 70 in Jones County, you can't look up death certificates without an obituary or a name. For 75 years so there's so many deaths that have not been recorded that are still you know i don't know it's so sad but <clears throat> and who knows how many and there's also a grave site that is unmarked for a lot of the people so that's really scary because we don't know they don't know where it is so i don't know spooky spooky yeah, creepy. Yeah, sort right. of. But I also, okay, sorry, I know I'm kind of going, I'll, I'll talk about the lighthouse in a second, but there's the Independence State Hospital that was also a mental institution. And it was where the, when people got sick, they would be sent to that hospital. So those two could be possibly connected with those if someone died and they put their body to the independence hospital um in the morgue there uh so i don't i want to go there too but i can't figure out how to book an overnight or how much it costs but i'll figure it out eventually that's pretty cool um yeah i guess i'll get into the lighthouse now has anyone been into a lighthouse before no not me not in real life I would not stay in the psychic hospital but, or the hospital close by. Hospitals, that's... <laughs> it's gonna be so much bigger, but I think... I don't know. If you... I'm kind of obsessed. Uh, I need to know. I, I want work to... in a hospital and it's haunted, for sure. I so want to stay, debunk stay all the... these people. Now that, you know, I got... I went there and she told us kind of fact from fiction like oh i forgot to mention the tubs the tubs are separated from the main bathroom so that way the workers could have more room to give the patients baths and also so people could take baths while other people use the restroom and a lot of tv shows they say that those tubs were used for electroshock therapy and that did not happen so now i'm obsessed i need to know all these haunted places what else tv shows have been lying about and what they made up for the show i'm just obsessed okay <laughs> i need to know i want all the <laughs> gossip on these people <laughs> so i've never i've also never been into a lighthouse i have family up in michigan and i've seen a lighthouse but i've never like been inside of it and the lighthouse that i wanted to tell a story about today was st augustine florida it is such rich in history so i don't know if you guys like history or not but i love history 
um so i'll just tell you a little bit about the history and then i'll go into the ghosts that are supposed to haunt there um so saint augustine is considered the oldest city in the united states which i would think would be one of the cities from like the 13 colonies but apparently it's in florida and it was discovered and i use that word very loosely by juan ponce dilan and i did not look up how to say this so i'm probably saying it incorrectly so i'm so sorry i did not have time to look it up um he first discovered um again loosely while he had been searching for the fountain of youth in 1513 so that's kind of cool um he was the governor he was the very first governor of puerto rico and he sighted or saw the east coast of florida on easter sunday in which that's actually why florida was named that so um that's cool yeah uh, i thought that was so cool but anyways however saint augustine had been founded by don pedro menendez he was assembling his fleet to an expedition to florida um, it was reported that the French actually claimed the land at the time and built a fort and colony on what is now Jacksonville. Um, but Don Pedro was instructed to take them out, and he actually success successfully did this after six failed attempts in 1564. And September 6, 1565, 600 voyagers cheer as Menendez stepped foot on the shore of Florida, and it was named... And St. Augustine was named in the honor of the saint whose feast day fell on the first day it was sighted. The first day he saw it, I guess there was a feast for a saint. And that's why they named it St. Augustine. Um, and St. Augustine would actually was supposed to be used for a military outpost and defense. And then it was also used as a catholic missionary settlement and this is actually something i didn't know before but the city was actually used to free slaves from the british colony era and beyond and it was a huge underground railroad operation um and if slaves made it to saint augustine and declared their allegiance to the king of spain he would grant them their freedom um and there's a ton of history like even more but I want to keep it kind of brief so we can get into the ghost. So the 1784 to 1821 was the second Spanish period where Spain suffered from the... Oh god, I should have looked this shit up. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Neapolitic invasions, and then they also con uh, struggled to keep their colonies. There was a treaty negotiated in 1819 and concluded in 1821 where the East and West Florida as well as St. Augustine had been turned over to the United States. The territorial period between 1821 and 1845, of course it was the war with the, if you can even call it that, um, of the Native Americans in 1845, Florida was officially a state. In the Civil War era in 1861, the Civil War begins. Florida, of course, joined the Confederacy since, you know, they're in the South. However, Union troops were actually remained, stayed and remained loyal to the U.S. government and actually took over St. Augustine pretty quickly and remained in control over the town for the entire time of the war, all four years. Um, and then, of course, as we know, Lincoln's Emancipation procl Proclamation. Oh, my God, I can't say words. Although that was issued, most of the slaves were not free directly after. However, in St. Augustine, they were. It was the one of the first few places that any of the sl slaves became free in 1862. So that was pretty cool. Um, and even after the war, the land was leased and given to the freed slaves so then it became a vacation town you know tourist still the same to this day any type of history it's a huge tourist attraction um john rockefeller's ex-business partner henry flagger started an oil company there in 1886 and then also built railroads and hotels 
On the 400th year anniversary in 1965, the city worked with the program that, to restore parts of the city. Um, so that is pretty much the gist. There's so much more history if you guys do like want to know you can just go on the website they have their own website for the city all right so let's talk about the ghosts that haunt there so the superintendent's daughters um Hexia Petit or Pitti, one of the two in 1872 he had been the superintendent of the lighthouse during the construction period when he realized it would take a lot longer than he originally thought and after a year and a half away from his family his family was in maine i believe and he was in florida so he decided to bring his family to florida um i'm sure he probably missed them very much it was a year and a half away uh, from them so his wife and two daughters eliza and mary came to stay with him and so of course you know eliza mary i don't the ages are unconfirmed. I could not find their ages. I probably honestly didn't look hard enough, but they were still pretty young and they were playing outside as if as they often did. And they were pushing each other in these small like rail cars that had been used to bring supplies up from the pier to the lighthouse. And one day the car wheel shifted and went straight into the water. So all of the kids fell into the ice cold pier water and a nearby construction worker luckily saw all of it happened and raced to the edge where he pulled all of the kids out of the water however both daughters and one of their friends one of the three friends they had with them passed away from drowning it's reported uh, from many who investigate they hear giggles they see four foot figures appear and peek around the corners it's also rep reported they like to play hide and seek and are very playful with the visitors. So like grab your hand, you'll feel like a someone tug on your hand or your arm or like a cold brush against your hand. And another resident is called the man. No one knows exactly who this is, but there is a couple of theories. Um, not everyone inside the lighthouse is as playful as the girls. There is a man who is said to be more dark and sinister, but I think he just doesn't like all the visitors. I think he just wants to be left alone a little bit. Uh, many believe that this ghost is William Russell, who had been a lighthouse keeper in the 1850s. He was known for his passionate and protective personality, and it... This is where I kind of think it's theorized that he isn't truly mean. He's just wanting to protect his home. And even if that means scaring off visitors. Another theory is the name of Joseph Andrew. And according to legend, he suffered a fatal accident when he fell from the tower in 1959. And for the past 100 years, he's known to just chill in his old living quarters, smoking a cigar, which sometimes you can smell. And this is pretty cool, and I thought it was kind of fitting considering I know Women's Day was, what, yesterday, and it's Women's Month. So another ghost is reported, which is Joseph's wife, Maria. And she was actually the first official female lighthouse keeper in the United States and the first Hispanic American woman to control a federal shore installation, which is so badass. Um... And she is seen at the top of the lighthouse in a white dress with her hair long down, uh, long and down. Um, and a few instances of her is said that when you're at the ground looking up, you can see a woman, white, woman in white up there. Um, it's also said that the lighthouse is padlocked, the big ass lock, and also armed with an alarm. And multiple times, it's been reported that the door had been unlocked and opened without the alarm going off. They've even checked with the alarm system company, and they have no reason why this should have happened. And according to BuzzFeed and Solves, there is a keeper who hung himself in the basement. Um, this man is reportedly in a blue suit that can be seen lurking in the shadows. This man is to believe 
to be Peter Rasmussen, who had been the keptor, keptor, keeper from 1901 to 1924. And another... Now, he's not a reported ghost, but it is just a fun fact. Uh, another keeper's son, Cracker Daniel, took his sister's cat, attached an old-fashioned parachute, went up to the top of the lighthouse, and he yeeted oh, the cat off the lighthouse. <laughs> but the cat made it safely to the ground since the parachute actually worked. What is wrong with people, bro? Could you imagine the cat, though? <laughs> He's probably like time, hyper. He's like, I got this, bro. I got this. <laughs> probably like hyperventilating, shaky when he gets to the ground. Cat's never even been into a car before. I can't imagine flying off the top of a lighthouse. Um, and then some of the ghost evidence, I guess you want to call it, that I've gotten. I don't know if you guys know who Sam and Colby is, but they went to the lighthouse. Um, they ended up actually playing hide and seek with the three girls. It was actually really cute and wholesome if it was real. But they told the girls to go hide and they would find them with the EMF readers. So the EMF readers, it goes from green to red and lights up. I don't know if you guys ever seen them, but... So they would go around and I know one of them... They found one of the girls in underneath the staircase. They would go around with the EMF and it light up to red. They found them. I don't know if it's real, but if it is, I thought it was really cute. Um, they just want to play, you know? They just want to have fun. Uh, and then BuzzFeed Unsolved. I really love these two guys, Ryan and Shannon, on there because they really... Ryan is a believer. And Shane is a non-believer. Like, he goes in there telling these demonic entities to scratch them. And he doesn't believe in them. And usually nothing ever happens to him. Uh, so they're both really, really funny. And it's kind of nice to see a skeptic and a believer together. Just because they do kind of get different things. Which is kind of like what you said earlier. The more you believe, maybe the more happens. So Shane went in there. He didn't get anything really... Um, he just kind of hung out, went up to the top, went down, and came out. And what Ryan went in there by himself, he got Eliza on the spirit box. And you hear me? When Ryan asked, how did you die? The spirit box said, chimney. And he couldn't hear, so he asked again, tell me again, how did you die? And it said, fell off the chimney. That's pretty crazy. That's like a... I don't know. Uh, and then... When he was leaving, going down the stairs, the spirit box went off and said, why are you leaving? Like he wasn't done playing with them. They wanted to, don't leave me. I want to play with you some more. So that is St. Augustine's Lighthouse. I feel like there's a lot more history. I know there was like a ghost ship at one point. I think it's Joseph Andrews ship. There, I want to do a... an episode on ghost ships, so maybe I'll go back to that. Ooh, yeah. Ships. I'm into pirates and shit like that. I like the ghost ship. Yeah, that story was like up and down. It was a lot of hoorahs and then like, what the yeah. fuck? Um, so yeah, that is St. Augustine's, and that's my experience at the Edinburgh Manor. I'm excited to go back. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, she wants to go back. Yeah, she <laughs> says she want to go back. That's crazy to me. Hello, just popping in here to say that this is where the ghost stories end. However, we do stick around for a bit longer, just yapping about haunted places we want to visit and conspiracies that we love. So if you want to stick around to the end, I appreciate you. However, if you don't want to spend another hour here with me, that's totally okay. <laughs> oh, you go to no. the Conjuring House next. I uh, don't believe the no, Conjuring House. I I have been watching a lot of videos on it, and I would actually love to go there. But the new owners recently bought it, and it just seems like now they bought this house for like over a million dollars. 
so and they also have cameras all over the house which i get because you don't want people to come in and destroy your shit um and destroy a historical house but the more i watch on it the more i think they have that house bugged to make noise and to be scary and I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that they've never, the previous owners never talked about. Like, they never talked about a ghost named Abigail, but all of a sudden she's like the most haunted, like the most ghosts there. It just, I don't know. It just rubs me the wrong way. But there's a lot of places that I want to go to. Like, they're trying to just keep up to, to the hype of the movies or something. Well, see, that's another thing. So, Annabelle which is a Raggedy Ann doll. That, there's never been any connection for Annabelle in the Conjuring house, but they have those Annabelle dolls everywhere in the house. And like, think about it, you know, you just bought this house for however much money and- You gotta make it back. You gotta, <laughs> yeah, you gotta make it back. So, and I think it's like a thousand dollars to stay the night there. I think I looked it up. That's crazy. Just spend yeah, it went up in price. A couple years ago, it was like five, 250 and then 500. 1.5 million is how much they bought it for. I'm not gonna lie, I've been wanting to buy an Annabelle doll, but I have a Chucky doll here. Chucky doll? <laughs> <laughs> Can I actually buy Annabelle with it now? Listen, I'm not trying to fuck with demons, okay? I just want... I just... I just want to know the truth. I'll let you know, I'll, I'll let you know the outcome. Because I was also <laughs> thinking sure. about going to Zach uh, Baggins Haunted Museum. But there's like a lot of demonic stuff there, especially dolls. And that kind of... I don't know. I don't want to fuck with anything demonic. Which also makes yeah, me I kind wanna, of think... I want to go to the Warren's house. Ooh, the Warren's house would have been... would be cool to go to. Um, I, so before we went there, I got these crystal necklaces. I forgot what tribe is she's from, but she is from a Native American tribe and she made these four necklaces for me, bought them off of her, um, has about three or four different crystals in it that do, that protect and heal and all this stuff. And then she also gave me um, some sage with lavender and some sage with rose petals. I haven't used them yet because I felt like I didn't need to. But I sometimes I feel like maybe our necklaces worked a little too much. I actually asked that. I asked them when we were sitting in the room with the light on and the heater. I asked them if it was our necklaces and the EMF went all the way up. But I was too scared to take the necklaces off because I was like, I don't want you to fucking scratch me if I take the shit off. So I think next time, when now that I'm a little bit more braver, I'll take I'll do an experiment and see if we get anything with the necklaces off. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. No, no lie, I'm, I'm I'm gonna be here for the stories, but me personally. <laughs> What's up? We gotta go kidnap lights and take them to one of those houses with us. Nah. You gonna have to get that me too. What you mean? Yeah, hey, bro. You're gonna have to be fighting both of us. I'm not. I'm gonna do scary shit, bro. Make me care. Slip a melatonin in his drink. There you go. She would do it too. Like next thing you know, lights and Lonnie wake up to the to one of the houses or even Mexico to haunted places. Nah, no, hell no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. don't do that. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna find like, the you so fast. <laughs> I bet Cameron would even put a GoPro on Lonnie's chest just to record the whole activity. As long as she brings her 40 cal, I'm okay. <laughs> Jeez. He said, he said she don't got the hollow tips, she got the holy tips. She got the holy oh my tips. That's a good one. Hell yeah. <laughs> see, you got that. I might have to come see you, Karen. Hold on. <laughs> I think it's hilarious how the lady earlier said that don't do any seances in the house. It's like, what do you mean don't do this? <laughs> well, they don't yeah, want to attract crazy, demons. 
Oh, yeah. They just want to, you know, they want people to experience what they experience. They don't want to bring in any demons. I love people, with, like, some people who, like, believe in the demons and all that stuff. They want them to be in peace. It's like, just leave them alone. They're not messing with it. It's like, what? Get these demons out of here. <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to be these creepy crawlies that um like to crawl on the ceiling. And they're... I forgot to take some pictures, but there's a couple pictures in the binder of like shadows on the wall on the ceilings that look like they're coming down from the ceiling, crawling on the wall. And oh my god, I that's why I was scared to go into the basement, but nothing really happened there, unfortunately. I said I don't I don't want to fuck with demons. I just want to know if, if you this shit is real. With you. Wait, what? Like, you know these people are chill. I'm just gonna go with them home. Oh no, hey, um so me, they should not be able to. Um so along with the crystal necklaces she gave me I think it's called Sol Sol Celine. Hold on, let me look it up again. She gave me these crystals, which is actually really cool because they're made um by lightning striking the rock and she got them from New Mexico. So these white crystals, uh Celine light, Celine night. I think is how you pronounce it and she gave me three of them so i put one in the car and then i gave one to my mom for the house and then i get and then i have one in my house so where um put it in the car before you arrive or when you get there so the spirits can't hitch a ride back with you but you know i don't know because they seem to really like our tour guide our tour guide has been a volunteer there for nine almost ten years so they probably are just more comfortable talking to her you know, we're new, we're up in their house. You know, these people lived there for years. Uh, when I was reading the death certificates that they found, there was people that lived there for 20, 30 years. So this is their house. And, you know, people are barging in, demanding them to do things like turn off this light, turn this thing all the way up to red. So I get it. You know, I would be like, fuck you. Imagine you're stuck in a place that tortured you and... People come in every night asking you to perform for them. <laughs> right. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I have but to lock my doors every day. It'd be 200 more Somehow. dead people. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I forgot to mention, uh, I was said I was going to mention it, but the tour guide's daughter, she's seven, and she's just walking in there. Her, she won't allow her to do any overnights, of course, but she does go in the building with her, and... We get to this basement and the basement is a part of the original part of this basement is part of the original building and she told us a story about how she was giving a tour to these two ladies and her daughter i think her name if i remember is Addie. she stops in the doorway and she goes i'm not going in there and this tour guy she's like why why and she goes there is a thousand dead bodies in there. I'm not going in there. So I was a little nervous to go into that room. Whoa. Yeah. Um, no, she's seven, so she knows she has those kid eyes and ears. Yeah, she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> and I guess she plays with Susie, the little girl in the toy room, often. Nope. Nope. So, I don't get any imaginary friends. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, we're not playing that game. <laughs> well, I mean, her mom's been a volunteer there for 10 years, so I assume they know how to protect themselves. Right. But yeah, I really want to go to Alcatraz. I think that would be so much fun. It's still open? Yeah. Well, not uh for they prisoners, tour. but for tours, yeah. Can't hear you, can't. You're talking. I want to some either this year or next year. I want to come visit you and Karen and go to the oh, yeah. haunted city that you guys are near. Virginia city. Yes. Virginia city, yeah. Scary. scary. Take Lights a trip down to Cali there. and go to the Winchester house. That would be so much fun. Well, if you guys do that, let me know. I would snatch lights up. and dubs on the way. <laughs> We're all hella close. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay the night down the street. Right, we'll be at the Four Seasons while you guys at the Winchester. No, motherfucker, when you're sleeping, I'm carrying your ass over there. And just know I'm bringing my PlayStation. No, I'm just my PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Never leave home without it. Looking at it. 
my visa. That's the first thing I'm packing. No. <laughs> yeah, how I know that you're American and I'm gonna pull out my motherfucking PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Going anywhere, man. I, you know what movie made me stop? And it was so long ago. It'll tell my age, but I don't know if you guys know it. But nothing but trouble made me never want to really take trips anywhere. Uh, nothing but trouble. You know what scarred me oh, as a yeah, kid? That movie, bro. The Wrong Turn. Yeah, The Wrong Turn. That with fucking -turn with Jennifer Lopez. Oh, I don't know who's in it. I know um, the girl off of Bring It On is in there. You know what movies fuck me up? Final Destination. Oh, oh I can't sorry. still to Why this day. I can't drive behind like, trucks with stuff on the was, back of it. I watch it and then I'm like, oh fuck, I get paranoid. And then I stop watching for like six months, come back to it. I'm like, oh fuck, what am I doing this again? <laughs> if I get stuck in the lane between two semis, I'm bro. I was just joke. had that I'm in my gone. head, bro. I just had that in my head. <laughs> Now imagine going to Mexico what, two days after you watched the Final Destination Five, I think it was, or the airplane one. <laughs> the airplane yeah, the one was airplane. the first one, no? Uh, the first one, and I think the last one. Yeah, they, I don't they, know they if I watched. The, but... the, uh, the uh, yeah, Final Destination made me scared three, of getting on roller coasters and tanning beds, but yeah, elevators. Yeah, and my chunky knees don't let me on roller coasters, so I'm good. Scare you with everything, <laughs> bro. Hey, I feel you, Debs. I respect See, I like gravity. paranormal <laughs> stuff, but the gory, bloody stuff I, I can't I can't do. I've only ever watched one saw and I accidentally watched it because I went into the front room and my parents were watching it and I almost passed the fuck out from how much blood was on the screen. Even though I know it's fake, it was just like I don't know. Oh, I can't do it. So. I can never watch the Saw movies. Never catch my attention. You're not missing anything. They're fucking. They start the first one. It's just oh my god, all of them, bro. You I don't the, think I can even watch the last one. I don't like movies where it's it. They're too real. They're so real. Yeah. yeah I'm not saw. So it feels it's a little too fake. It, it's like it's not fake. That shit is real. Bro. There's it's really people out there. hard for like your brain to like you know it's fake but it's hard for your brain to really understand that's how why do you think so many co-workers actors fall in love with each other and date each other because it's like your mind i don't know how to explain it but yeah i i walked in and they were fucking putting their arm in the saw to cut their arm in half to put the blood in the thing to open the door and i was i was good I did not need to watch another minute of it. That's what I mean. The, you know the movie's fake, but the the concept of where like people actually do that type shit. That Man, shit is real. Like this, I don't yeah, like scary people. Yeah. I just yeah. have like ghosts movie. and all that, not people. This realistic horror kind of kind of deal. Like this really people you know, out there like, like that shit. I feel like there's ways to protect yourself from ghosts. You know, you can wear the crystals, you can um cleanse you can do all this stuff but people are unpredictable and you can't you can't protect yourself from them a lot of the time they know yeah. how to smile in your face instead of get what they want all the weird people that uh just live Absolutely. out in the mo yeah live out in the middle of nowhere and your car breaks down and then you're never seen again those type of people are the people. I know, I was telling Karen about a, a thing I watched the other day. This guy on Joe Rogan, this guy freaking lived underwater for like two weeks or something. And like this little capsule type shit. <laughs> and, uh, and he freaking said he had to go to the bathroom in, in the middle of the night. And they have like little bathroom capsules. So you have to swim, swim like, you know, 50 feet or something to the capsule. It's pitch black. Nah. I don't know why the fuck he would do that, but he does it, right? He says you go in the capsule, you take off your uh, equipment. There's air in the capsule, blah blah blah. He says he comes out and he puts on his flashlight and he's staring at an eyeball. Oh he's my god! Oh, it was so big. It was like like this, a little bit smaller than like a soccer ball. 
And I'm like, shut the fuck. He said he screamed and panicked out of all of his experience. He said he swam to the top and was screaming so much much that they thought he was getting eaten by a shark, bro. And he's, he ended up showing the fish. It was a fish. It wasn't even a shark or a whale, bro. It was some big blow type yeah, fish. Yeah, fish. Bro, <laughs> you kidding me? Could you imagine, though, I'm like, a, just there. an eyeball? Oh, could you imagine how haunted the oceans are though like everyone that's being thrown off of boats the titanic other shipwrecks for thousands of years yeah bro imagine how many how many of their bodies they be losing in alaska you didn't hear that lonnie no No, i've watched the story of the real the titanic it's a, not even called the Titanic, you know that, right? It's not the real name of it. Is not the, Titanic. the Olympia there's or another, whatever. Yeah, there's yeah. another boat called the Titanic, and that I don't think that boat sank. So it's a weird, yeah, conspiracy. You guys believe in reincarnation? I want to do a story on reincarnation. I don't. I think once you're dead, you're gone. That's it. You're just not Where do you think you go? You get one shot. Oh, I believe. No, we're challenge. talking about here. No, I, we're talking about here. I don't know about there, but I know here, you're no longer here. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever there is, I don't know whether it's coming back, you're still not here. That, <laughs> that person's gone. There may be an essence. Yes, a little, soul, yeah. But you know what's funny? A client gone. of mine actually asked me that. It's like, do you think you'll be reincarnated? I'm like, hell no. I'm probably going straight to hell. Oh, oh no. Laughing. They say people that have birthmarks, that's how you died in your past life. Damn, I died through a A lot nose. of these reincarnation <laughs> stories freak me the fuck out, though. Mm-hmm. There's some convincing ones. There's, I mean, if you believe it, I, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Like I said, my mom's super superstitious and Catholic. She will, you know what I mean? So I believe her if she believes it. It's hard to know what to believe because there's just so much out there. Believe it all. Mm. Right? Like, you can't go wrong. You know what I mean? I mean, isn't a lot of people, when they do near death experiences or they actually die but come back, they like, they see what they believe. So maybe, yeah, maybe it's just that simple. Just... See, I was in a coma for three, day, uh, three days back in 2020. And I just felt like I was in a dream all those three days. Were you actually? Yeah, I was in a diabetic, a diabetic coma. Damn. What did you dream about? Just do you yeah, not remember, remember that I was that I was walking around the freaking hospital? No. Oh, maybe you had like an out of life experience, like out of body experience. I meant maybe because like, oh, I talked uh... to some people and then, like in my dream, I I don't remember. I didn't remember it right away. I remember it, like months later, like one of those dreams, right? Where like, like no way did I just you know thought about. Uh, it felt like a dream those whole three days. Like just walking around the hospital, talking to random people, and then every time I, th- I turn around and look around, the person wasn't there. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no. That's All crazy. Was, like, uh, going in a coma, going checking in a hospital October 26th, waking up October 29th, 30th to a hey buddy, welcome back, <laughs> and not no. knowing anything it's a, until like months later, when I went to go get my first checkup to the hospital to the doctor's visit, and they're like, "Oh yeah, you're in a diabetic ketosis, aka diabetic coma, for three days, and you're lucky to be alive." Damn. That's crazy. I'm glad you're still here. That is so scary. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's Absolutely. Shoot me all the time. And... <laughs> <laughs> you know what's it's funny because like. <laughs> I never, I never thought that would ever happen to me, and now to this day, like I, a random time, I just sit here and like, damn, motherfucking Doug went through that shit. It's funny, you. That's why I was trying to tell my youngin the other day. Like, you walk by people all the time, you don't know what they're going through in life, man. Like, yeah, and funny enough, like right after that's when I met y'all on freaking South. Yep, I remember you're kind of going through hospital stuff. Yeah, or actually. We met and I was in a hospital. Like it was like the first few days. Yeah, because I remember you were taking time off from the city. Yeah. So I was, was in 2020. Gonna... That was 2020. Shut so up. Was, I think it was right before we met. Yeah, because right me and El just had our two-year anniversary, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, so... Yeah, it was like right, be right before we met. That's crazy. Damn, bro. Yeah. We're four years in, bro. Alright. Damn, like, you guys were in South Central two. for like three years? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, we were change. in there for a yeah. long time. Doing some change. But I think we met at the beginning of 2021, shit. right after all that shit happened. I know, I spent like $700 in... Still life in South, bro. Uh, I made I, I checked my old cash app and it was like sixteen hundred for me. Holy, yeah. do you do are do they still like are they still up? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. They invited me to in there. They try to get me to come over there. Shut um, up. Yeah, Fat Nick was going around inviting everybody. No. Yeah, he still got a city, but he still got hella resources in that month. I got like a thousand resources. So he's still just taking your money and not making the seat. He was charging us ten dollars a house. You know how I create houses around here? He's charging us ten dollars to do that. Jeez. Alright, so I, I had a gang of seven, so everybody had a house. So there's seventy bucks there. He was charging twenty, twenty-five dollars for cars, thirty dollars, hundred dollars for a MLO. Sheesh. Yeah, crazy. I was stupid. Well, it's not you're stupid with it, no, but it's just like now that you like when you. But it's no city, different than like spending money on like Fortnite skins and stuff. Yeah, I have but, like three thousand dollars in Valorant. Oh, makes you feel better. But yeah. knowing how to do <laughs> it knows where you should price it and actually not. Well, rip you know that most off. of it's free. That you, we were buying free stuff. Right, we weren't. He's just charging for his time, probably the two seconds it took it to is, drop yeah. it in there. Well, it is a lot of time. I give him that. So, so. I'm gonna it. I mean, I'm I'm four thousand dollars deep in Hot Wheels. Damn. Yeah, but he like physical Hot Wheels. Yeah. Well, those makes... those can actually be worth something one day, though, if you keep them well, in good shape. I've been customizing yeah, cool. some and. Ooh. I've been... Our airbrush project earlier. Mm -hmm. A so pearl metallic blue. Printing and shit. That was like a jack of all trades. Shit. <laughs> I'm I actually, want a 3D printer. I'm actually in April enrolling in IT classes for tech. And I'm Damn. like, you sell insurance too? Like, <laughs> I sell insurance. I'm an insurance <laughs> broker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and an airplane mechanic. You're fucking jack of all trades. Didn't finish my classes for airplanes, but did my 10 months in Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma to be exact, Spartan College of Aeronautics. Hey! Oh, I knew you were oh right. damn. That's how you do it. I knew you were right. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Well, I went there from Cali for 10 months. Yeah. That's tight. Missed them gas prices, though, for sure. Like Wall Street. And now I'm actually about to start uh, talking about <laughs> Wall Street. I'm actually about to start learning day trades. I have a buddy at work who is like, I, I've actually learned a little bit, but he is so addicted, bro. And like, he made a lot of money, but he's lost a lot of money too. But I told him, I was like, the reason why I'm not getting into it necessarily is because you're not using passive income. You're actually using your work income, which to me, that don't make any sense. You know what I mean? Like, so your money's not working for yourself or you're not using other people's money so it's like gambling you might as well go down and take that three thousand dollars and go to the casino yeah and you have the same amount of chance so i was like why don't you like for him not you but like for him it's like why don't you do like physical stuff like gold or silver or actually invest in your 401k since you're gonna be here working all these hours yeah i actually have my 401k working right now that's that's what that's where it's at. You know what and mean? then um, I use my cash app as my bank. So every time I get my check, it takes ten percent out of my check into savings and throws it out onto like savings accounts at five percent interest rates. Yeah, I'm gonna make you my financial advisor. Yeah, I don't know where this shit's coming from, but I'm like, <laughs> you know what? I need to start. Like, I literally bought 140 pairs of Hot Wheel wheels, like the plastic, the rubber ones. And I'm about to make five hundred dollars, four hundred and twenty dollars profit off of those when I sell them, and it costed me one, 
fifty. Yep, passive income. So after what I spent, it's like four twenty profit after uh make it even. Gotta start oh, making yeah. that money for my trips this year. Everybody's trips. gonna trips. Um, you know, going to trip to you know, I meet these two odd fellas, uh in uh, Reno, Nevada, and then Chicago, Illinois, Colorado. Yeah, yeah, come on over to Reno. Oh yeah. Yeah, these two odd couple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get that reference. <laughs> I was like, I hope somebody got it. Shoot. <laughs> I giggled. I giggled. Come to man. Let's get a, a staycation. Uh, yeah, when you come <laughs> out, it's going hours. down. Yeah, I looked up flights. It's only about 400 there and back, so bad. Yeah, I think I might be driving there. Yeah, yeah you're I would two drive, hours away. But... <laughs> he's close. Yeah. Two hours away. Yeah, he's close. It's that. About now, it's a little bit more than that, but yeah. yeah, yeah only about hours. two hours? Why haven't you guys no, met like, yet? Like, no, like no, four. Like 10. Oh, ten. Like ten, two to ten out. Yeah, no, you're in Stockton. <laughs> it's like four hours. No, I'm, yes. in, I'm, I'm in Modesto. Modesto. Okay, yeah. No, yeah. it's even closer. No, right? that still ain't even that far. Oh, no, it's on. like me, four me, hours. Hold on, hold on. Bro. Let me see. Let me see. Go, go. I'm like, SAC is two hours away. You're in an hour and a half if you're going like 90, 120. That's how I drive. It's three it's hours. Three hours. What the yeah. fuck? Is that close? I told, I told you, bro. You. You're like four hours away from me, bro. <laughs> Bro, I'm about to get a run and I'll go all the way over there. Oh, yeah. just said, I'm gonna you better wait run. till that <laughs> snow melt. And yeah, you're gonna be over and get over that mount mountain. Modesto, yeah, they used to have that, tweakers in the trees and shit. That, oh my god. If I get yeah, my new whip. That was, yeah. that was a bad city back in the day. Modesto. Yeah, or if I get a new whip, maybe I'll, uh, you know, use it that way. I've been More looking hours. at cars and I got approved for two different cars. Now I just gotta Damn, get this down. You're closer than Las Vegas to us, bro. That's the drive me and you gonna take out yeah, and go uh, through all them scary cities. It's just the worst way. drive in the world. The worst drive in the world. Yeah, it is, though. So. It's the first 14, time I ever peed on the side of the road. Or a 20... <laughs> bro, I kind of want to, but <laughs> I feel like... I'm... Bro, <laughs> the maintenance on that art to fix shit is going to be worse than the BMW. I know how to fix BMW, yeah, but... It, 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 it'll definitely be... Worse. You're going to see, like, Blackhawks and shit when you drive to Vegas. You see, like, Blackhawk helicopters. You could go 90 on the freeway, though. No, hey, I yo. almost... You can it's die 80. It's 80, but you can always go 10 I was going to say, I already, already hit 90, 100 here on a daily basis, so... At night time, you get, like, hypnotized by the lights because it's completely black. I want to experience an alien. In the daytime, you have to keep your lights on. You go to Area 51. You can't go to Area 51. That's anymore. what I told her, though, but we, we can, can go, go to the it. cool little area. Where you yeah, and all the town? little ghost towns on the way. Yeah. If you don't mind. Huh? If you don't mind saying your location area around. Dude, Vegas. I'm in Iowa. I'm in the middle of the Iowa? states. <laughs> middle of nowhere, cornfields. Yeah, so <clears throat> the only person I know from Iowa. Barely have internet. No, I'm just kidding. We have cities here. <laughs> Do you at live in a city saying, though? Uh, yeah. <laughs> at least you're not saying my my city is all pin. Then I would have been like, okay. It's a no, six-hour flight. I went to um, I went to Washington D.C. as like a school trip in eighth grade, and these girls from California asked if we had internet, and I was like, <laughs> no. Yeah, but it's we all just the have our internet. What's that? See, I, I would believe you said no internet if you were really in here. Like, hey, I gotta go. My my uh, my internet's gonna go down in five minutes. No, no, no. So I, I have like, fiber, okay, so. I would have been like, she's definitely from the. She got country. that good, good internet. We're about five know, hours about away Iowa. from Chicago, so I thought we were closer. Ew. I thought we were only like two or three hours, but I guess Chicago, we're fine. I might just go visit Miss L. Be fun. Chicago. Chicago. I'm trying to go. To yeah, Chicago, nobody goes to Chicago. What else is there? Out I there? went there. I went there once the to pass through there? for a concert. Never again. I was having a panic attack mid-road because a city bus was almost hitting me from one side of the, my car and then another driver was trying to hit me on my other side of the car and i couldn't go anywhere and it was the most terrifying experience i've ever had 
Oh, you like can't Mexico drive traffic. in Cali, though. Perfect. That sounds like Salt Lake. No, it sounds like San Francisco's close. I drove in Salt Lake. I felt like that, and I'm a somewhat decent driver, and I was like, oh, my God, there's 10 lanes. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Yeah, that was a hard... They had exits on the left. It was crazy. I was yeah, like, I, 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 I just stayed in the like middle. Fun. Like, how do you have just held my left? space. Does that? I always think you're going the wrong way. GPS is like, please turn around. Plus, you turn. It's my like, city yeah. seems super small compared to big city. California driving or roads yeah. suck though. Yeah, we're too. Y'all drive crazy. Talk about a hundred every day. I believe it. It Probably. takes. Yeah, like I like my car to go vroom vroom. Ten minutes to get anywhere here. See, for example, like me. No, about from thirty where I'm now. At to Fresno is supposed to be an hour and a half. I'd take forty-five minutes. You go city to city in ten minutes. I just, I like to go at night with lights off. Hell no! What the fuck? Is yeah, <laughs> the yeah, fuck? yeah, bro. That way they can't see my freaking t uh, license plate, bro. Okay. Yeah, that old school racing scene. I see you. <laughs> that's for me. Hey, I'm not even gonna lie. Me and my brother, whenever I get a new car, I go to sack, and we just hit the freeway, and just keep on passing each other, and we always flip off the lights for a little quick second till we get right next to each other, and it's like, yeah, I'm going on you. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, bro. Cause I would patrol over here, and I'll be pretty crazy getting all these cars, bro. Taking them. Huh? Yeah, that's why. Like, if Oxygen I do look. Auction or crush, bro. It's been more crush now than auction. Damn. Really? Because auction's Dude. easy to get your car back. You go yes. trace it. Where crushing, it's like, okay, you got to go to DA from Oakland. Most of the cars are going to be crushed. It's because they want nothing but electric there. No, it's not that. It's like the, they got them caught There's off a of freaking uh, car. Uh, yeah, the freaking takeover. Build a wall. Uh, um. Damn. <laughs> well, I know who she's voting for. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> not. I said we're gonna be in districts by like twenty fifty five. Yeah. Like the every Hunger little, Games. Every little yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna surprise. That's what I say. We're coming to. Don't vote. <laughs> <laughs> for real, bro. Well, you know, well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably voting for Trump. Not gonna lie. I don't vote. I'm voting for Texas. I don't. I don't vote. I'm gonna put other and that other where I have to line up. Who to vote is put myself. I just want to keep Texas to keep saying fuck the Supreme Court. Oh, or we can all put on the other Lonnie. The other Lonnie. Yeah, well, you know, we put, there's a box, always a box that says other, the oh, little yeah. line. I'm going to yes. put that, I'm going to put Lonnie. <laughs> well, that would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Just like in 2016 when everyone voted for these nuts. For real, for real. That's... <laughs> There's been always like a fake name on the ballot. I think mean, every a kid yeah, from I... my A kid from my state did that. The these nuts was a kid from my town. Uh -uh. Yeah. That's super and he didn't have internet, huh? <laughs> That's how it was I know Rosie O'Donnell ran for president a couple times, didn't she? I think so. Anybody can run. <sighs> I'm gonna run. Lonnie for president. Lonnie for president. <laughs> Lonnie I'm gonna put more stars in the sky. <laughs> more stars in the sky. This fool. Hey, bro. I've been getting. My, I, I've been going to my. Uh, my sponsor for my badges and stuff and that fool got me on looking at stars that are not stars i'm like fuck Damn. another shit i gotta add to my brain now you see me every night look at the stars when it's clear i'm like that stars moving that's not a plane <laughs> that's not a plane <laughs> that's karen looking over us <laughs> you guys ever like actually went out to like the country where there's no light pollution and see how yeah. like how many stars are actually out there? It's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. where you live. I mean, you see I live, stars. I live in so. No, I don't. I wish. <laughs> I used to live in Indiana. That hella star. <laughs> then in Mexico too. When I was in Mexico, I've heard. Go that. up on the top of the the houses and you look at the stars. Don't have a lot we have hella lights. lights. Yeah, we don't see no, no stars. stars. Got a twenty-four hour casino. Yeah, well, lights. see, my my family's from a little village type. Uh, 
uh, town where all of us are family. So it's not really a, like a lot of lights. So, you know, two, three in the morning, everybody's still outside and you can just look up and see the stars That's when it's cool. not raining, of course. That's where I learned all my constellations in Indiana. I'm about to bring Lonnie to my next Mexico trip. I got a telescope. I'll bring it. <laughs> I do. I got a telescope. <laughs> Karen bought me one, so I got a tilly. At least he was like, nah, fuck Mexico. It's too dangerous. Like, some people are here, here. I'm going to use my telescope to look over the border before I even go over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See if there's any trouble. <laughs> the only trouble you'll find around my where my family from is a uh, freaking, uh, all the cheese, man. Gossip. He said just cheese, man. <laughs> That's all. I don't think I ever go to Mexico, bro. <laughs> Not gonna lie, if I put Lani, they'll heard all, all here in Spanish. Like, ese, ya mira ese señor. Ya que, que ne, de morenito está. The, the monita, what? Morenito. The little black boy does what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the little black boy eat. <laughs> Not Lani saying food. soy de Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't tell him I'm Puerto Rico over there, bro. They're gonna want Spanish. I got yeah, real quick, stand, <laughs> real I'm quick. More, I'm more than on, man. Just negro, negrito. <laughs> He's in negrito. That or they're like, hey, he blends in with half the people here because uh, right? a lot of morenito cousins. Yeah, that's there. what I'm saying. Put me up with the older folks; they'll understand. <laughs> All right, y'all. I think I'm gonna slide out. I'm gonna head back to the city. Lights too scared. Yeah, 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 y'all still chilling and y'all talking about haunted stuff. I think I think I seen a shadow up on that joint earlier. Bro, light your house. And it was is dark. Now, now, why are you gonna say something like that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just crazy. That's just crazy. It's crazy how how paranoid you can be right before you go to sleep tonight. No, that's even that's crazier. Crazy. You would say something like that. <laughs> hey, I'm done cartoon. with those. Hey, I'm not fucking with those. I'm playing a couple games. 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 Try yeah, it's a little You're hard. Hear right now. Remember, it's <laughs> not your house. It's not your house, you know, creaking. It's the ghost. It's definitely yeah. not the house settling, it's definitely the ghost. Oh, I'm out of here. 100%. 100%. <laughs> you got new people in here? Because, uh, uh, she quiet. Hey, lights, girl. Oh. Oh, he yeah, finally got a second Raya. brain, huh? That's cool, that's cool. Yep, yep. I oh. actually have a second brain built, too. He's got a third brain coming into the house too. Hey. Roomie's roommate's got one. Just announced it today. No. Nah. Yeah, Manny at work was like, "Should I buy this one or should I buy that one?" He ended up spending fifteen hundred or eighteen hundred, I think. Nice. Bro, I used I used, nice. I used to my my the one I I'm building right now for three worth three hundred dollars, bro. Gee. All I need is a a new power supply and a new RAM. <laughs> that's it. All that's all I needed. Yep, so he'll be in here like in the next week or so. My my previous uh build um had enough part oh my my first 3D printer, right? That I had. Uh -huh. I ended up training it for a twenty eighty super hybrid graphics card. So it has its own little radiator with it. So I ended up training that and I already had a motherboard and a chip and a chip cooler and a case and some RAM, but I didn't want to get some better RAM. It's like I want to be excited for you, but I know you're gonna sell it in like two months. <laughs> uh, uh, Instead of a, selling it, you, you can just give it to me. You, you just donate it to me instead of selling uh, it. I, I did buy another laptop too. <laughs> another gaming one. I got it. I got a good steal on it. Five hundred bucks because the guy needed money. You said five hundred. Yeah, he wanted a thousand. Like you know what, bro? You really need this money. I'll give you five hundred right now. Right. He said, yeah. You're you're a negotiator. I'm not good at negotiating. They're like ten dollars. I'm like ten twenty five. The, the only thing I can negotiate is my soul that I sold to the devil. But uh, what damn, the fuck is going on with what? you? You've been away for too long, Dubs. I think you need to come <laughs> back and hang out with us more, bro. Like you've been away too long. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, on the internet with those Reddit people, dude. You need to get. 
Uh, not the I'm red actually, in back not, room. Not, so we've no. lost him. We've lost him. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. You guys lost me to the dark web. Oh, been, no. The dark web. What the yeah. fuck is wrong with you? See, I've been on it since 2016. Come back to yeah, okay. Back our, to we guys need to we need to cleanse this have man. Have an intervention. Intervention. Hey, we need Sage. Bust out the Sage. I think I'm too late for Sage. Oh, Put shit. the bag down. We'll give you. Uh, all there's back. another you way we can cleanse you. <laughs> you can't sell something that doesn't belong to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh -oh. so, so. Shit, it started. Could you imagine the devil out there actually yet. buying souls, though? That was a real thing. Just sitting up there, like, wow. Uh, <laughs> whole vault full of souls. Yeah, I don't think it works that way. Would she sell your soul to the devil? No, not in the middle of the, the crossroads. I don't think huh? you can sell a soul to him. In the middle of the cross. Do you think celebrities sell their souls? I think they do. I kind of think they I do. Think, I I think there's a difference between it's... selling your soul and making sacrifices. To what you believe is. Do you think? Okay, so this is like totally conspiracy theory, but uh, I totally forgot most of it. But do you think the sacrificial area in the middle of the woods? I think in Cali is real, where like elites yeah. go. Yeah. Yes. I want to explore it. I think there's I a don't different know. one. I think if we know about it, it's not so, real. I think they have other places that yeah, they go. Probably. So the reason, look, where we live, it's not fact. far it's away. Not conspiracy. That's fact. There's like this religious place, and you can look it up and everything. And there's tons of crosses out hella far, and nobody's ever made it really like onto the property because people will come and stop you with guns and stuff. It's like open carry. So there's definitely places where people keep and do weird things. In so the middle of the we live places. in Reno, right? Which is a 24 hour town, right? Vegas, Reno, right? There's only seven states where vampires are known to live, and we have the most recorded mm -hmm. vampires, supposedly, here in mm -hmm. Reno, in Nevada, right? Reno, Las Vegas, right? We have a rainbow house here. It's called Rainbow House. And if you think you have magical powers, you can come stay at the house for a week, and they'll give you a color, depending on your magical power, and they'll figure out in a week whether you actually have powers or not and that you know you can stay or leave mm. but there's hella weird shit that happens out here in reno yeah people hella really drink shit. blood out here like we really have vampires or people who think they're vampires like young kids <laughs> walking around thinking they're fucking yeah vampires. we used to go to high school and tends to like and then there's that weird place that's like 20 minutes away and so people used to say like that's where they live i've seen a group of people there's a whole bunch of old school houses they're all like red brick houses around town kind of they were wearing black hoodies and walking into a house you remember that you saw it too so those, those were that was a uh a that russian was cult type no shit. it was a russian church <laughs> and we just happened to see no, the minister they were wearing like <laughs> well, there was, this a was like seven black people walking nah. into a house with hoods on <laughs> come on <laughs> they were russian <laughs> yeah that's that's what what I'm but they were the weird it was weird it was it was weird. Night. it was like Mil 11 at hell night late. come we on we pulled up to a stoplight and that's how we saw him he was oh standing on the sidewalk next to the car car bro and he wasn't hella <laughs> tall or he i was so scared it made him taller and so and he had a big ass hood on bro and he was like had his arms crawl and they did they were walking in the house he turned around and walked i was like fuck off bro and in the morning i looked at it like we drove by it and i actually know somebody who's gone there and tried to talk to the people that kid at our job ian you know uh our lights is gone but yeah he knows him he uh he tried to be a Russian convict and he went to that church. Oh my god. A Russian undercover? Yeah, they wouldn't take him. Damn. That shit yeah. scares me so bad. Like this human sacrifices and shit. That shit's real, bro. That is hella it's real. So, so scary. whatever place in California, that's real. Well, I mean, the religious, even if you're religious, it's, there's still people who do it in Africa and other countries, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, Hell of people do it all over, everywhere. Yeah, they still sacrifice cows, calves, like even lambs, those... people, yeah. there's still people cannibals. Crazy. Cannibals scare the shit out of me. 
Yeah. Because I just know that, like, if a zombie apocalypse were to actually happen, it's not good people that's surviving. Nope, it's all bad. And if you were to somehow survive, you literally would not be able to trust anybody. I told you that. Especially Remember? as a woman, you trust know? Trust no one. Yep. Well, as a woman, you would almost have to, like, it's sad, it's sad to say, but it's like you'd have to find the guy who's most trustworthy and just submit to him or just be a badass <laughs> bitch. <laughs> like, or you're going to get ran through by the wrong guy. Yeah, I think, I think Elena's right? taking the second option. To be a badass bitch, bro. Like, fuck it. I, just... I, I don't know if you guys watch The Walking Dead, but <laughs> I think my character <laughs> development would become Carol level and just fucking shoot first, ask yeah, questions yeah. later. Fuck it. I've just... never watched that. Aaron it's watched, either it's, like, it's either me or you, and if it's me or you, it's I'm living. I don't know. The fucking hands may tell. Oh, she scares no the one. shit out of me. I, love I have not watched that either. Oh my god! You know how you said that you can't watch movies that are too real? I have such the hardest time watching Handmaid's Tale. I watch I it watch so it. I know what is gonna happen if some shit happens in uh -uh. that situation. What type of person am I gonna be? Am I gonna be the person that goes and kills myself? I haven't or seen Or am I gonna be the person that fucking fights? Oh, so, I need to know that shit is real. People are like that. that really, sad. that has happened around. in history already. Yeah, though. that's what I mean. People are like like that. So the more you know it, I mean, you lose faith in humanity. You don't, you don't prepare crazier, yourself but... for it. To me is no, true. how women <laughs> even there's women out there that like support that and it's just like the irony that it shows about um Serena writing the book and now people in her nation can't even the women in her nation can't even read her book because it's illegal right. like the fact that women support that in well you gotta think America we just completely ain't different right so it's not that it's insane it's just a lot of it's religion too and different right? yeah. yeah things yeah i think america is so unique is because we allowed so many different religions to come and we in. do whatever we want here right, right? Other... land of the free well not even that it's just the fact that you know the people that came here first are the people that decided to go everywhere. Chinese people didn't decide to go everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean, a lot of people didn't decide. They loved their home. Well, the I Europeans just... were in the cold. <laughs> they didn't want to be in the cold anymore. Right. So that's. I just can't see a world where I, I would never be able to be a part of something that oppresses me. It's just so. I don't know. I can't wrap my head around it, but. I grew could, up though. in a family that, you know, didn't do that. So I guess maybe it would be different. I, think I missed y'all. Oh, we missed you. Oh, we missed you too, buddy. Yeah, I just we went to Mexico tired. today, and I was like, I can't do this because my <laughs> um my friend's gone, and he speaks their language. Yeah, I, I just honestly mean it's been working and. I mean, I'll turn on my laptop, but I literally just turn it on and for nothing. Work has just been dreadful. Right. I thought you were gonna get another job. Remember, you were applying I, and stuff. I did. I've, I've been trying to get fired. It still hasn't worked. Oh. <laughs> I keep keep flirting with a fucking manager. <laughs> not not like like not on purpose. It just happened. I tried dating again, though. I tried dating again. Didn't work. You know what I've noticed is when you stop trying to date, it just comes to you. You know, when you're just like, I'm just done dating. Yeah. I'm going to focus on myself. It eventually just comes and finds you. Yeah. Yeah. See, this time, it was just somebody I'd known from like six years ago, right? We just talk and talk. So, like, I've actually been talking to her for like months now. And. We're to the point where we were on in something serious, so I thought us talking meant, you know, we were only focused on each other. Well, it turns out she went to go fuck somebody the other day. Oh. And was like, oh, I don't know why you're tripping if you're not together. I'm like, oh, okay, well, bye. Blocking you. Called at and had her number permanently blocked. So I don't, <laughs> so I don't go back to her like a dumbass. Just think, just okay, think. that's smart. Yeah, because uh, it, it, it's been happening where, like, I tried to go back to her or talk to her again, and then something add up and then i block her and then unblock her and so this what time you i do you photoshop 
a girl in your arms and you smiling a lot. Not the Photoshop. And, <laughs> and watch how many DMs you get, bro. Like, all you gotta do is just be happy and watch how many DMs you get. Oh, let me go ruin his <laughs> happiness. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> like, nah, so, I, I actually tried to be off social media with all of that. No. I'm only Lonnie now. I don't touch <laughs> my other Facebook hardly ever. It's too Bro, I, I don't touch any of my social media. That's the point. Like, if literally, like, I, I literally haven't, I've been, I haven't been on the internet at all but Fortnite. Fortnite maybe you'll crazy. find, just go into Duo's Phil and maybe you'll. <laughs> Find Maybe a girl, I'll find your huh? e girl. <laughs> now I'm good. That 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 uh, south taught me a lesson. Yep. Oh, I'm never gonna. Dude, uh, yeah, we guys were dating for a minute. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, five months, six months. Crazy. Level uh, level five cleaner. Level okay, five. Okay, listen. <clears throat> this this is what worked for me. Okay. Do your thing, <laughs> love yourself, and when you find someone that you like, set them down and say, this is what I will not tolerate, and these are my boundaries. Oh. Make it very clear. People pleaser. Mm -hmm. I know, I am too, but... <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> Like I, I, I literally most of my paycheck this week went on whatnot for this guy that was in there. We were talking. He was trying to sell stuff. He had like twenty people on there. Nobody was buying his Hot Wheels, right? Ended up buying forty five fucking Hot Wheels <laughs> for him. He's out here donating to the cause. <laughs> yeah, like, and I, I literally kept saying, "Come on, guys, <laughs> bro." I mean, the Hot Wheels like two dollars a piece, right? So it's below market value. So with taxing and shipping, it was like two sixteen. So, I mean, I'm still making money because I can resell it for like five bucks each, right? But man, fuck. No, that's dope. You got a good like, heart. Ne next, I'm like, next time, if I want to donate money like that, I'll donate to Elena's freaking Twitter, uh, Twitch. Mr. I sold my soul oh, to the yeah. devil, but I donate to Cherry. Donate to well, me. I donate mean, to my ghost fund. Uh, yes. I mean, I haven't really sold my soul to the <laughs> devil. I keep saying it. <laughs> I me too, bro. Oh my I god, I joked about it one time on Facebook, on like on my personal Facebook, that I would I would sell my soul to the devil if I never had to experience lag in a game ever again. And Jeez. my aunt, she went off on me. She ate me up, I'm not gonna lie. She was pissed. Yeah. People like, don't joke like that. Hey, I, I heard some shit the other day though that I thought was similar but funny. It was like, as soon as World War Three comes, I want to use my gamer tag. The only way I'm going. <laughs> so hey, you know, it was like, you, don't play you know, like it's it's Damn, crazy. I need a cool one. I want to rebrand. Yeah. Because uh, for me, a couple years, a couple like two years ago, no. right? I had put on my Instagram story about trying to join the Lunati. Tell me why I got ten messages from ten different people with like twenty thousand views about. If you actually want to be serious, yeah, I the steps to do it. Yeah, I know that mm. I can give you an application right now. I had two applications sent to me, and it was, they were legit as fuck. But this was yeah. back in the day, like when Lenovo really thought. And see, this one's an application. This was like, oh, this is a step. Here's the X, Y, and Z coordinates to go to this. And like, bro, no, I almost bullshit. did it. No. I almost bro did it. Bro was almost a fucking human sacrifice. Yeah, you were. You were about to get booty raped. Well, I wasn't going to go. By myself, I already had like 15 AR. Uh, I had like four ARs in my car that day what from friends. Fuck? I'm like, hey, bro, I need some ARs. He's like, all right, no questions. Here you go. Here's some clips. Yeah, Just in case. Are... But, you don't uh, think that's going to stop them? Because they treat it like a church. It's like, like Scientology. But now I've, I've noticed I became a ghost in freaking my my city, bro. Like I go around walking around in a hoodie. Nobody really minds what I'm doing or sees me. The hell is like, going? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Like I'm becoming anti-social again. Yeah, and turn into like Miles Davis, like a superhero and shit. Start like get like a gargoyle on top of the roofs, looking down at the. Like there's there's nights I go on a freaking night drive and then. Notice, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing this for? <laughs> I, I used know, to love I'm... driving at night because no one's around, but 
I don't know. Sometimes your eyes play tricks on you and you thought you see something in the middle of the road. I'm getting too old for this shit. I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, that's a uh, driving while high. It's a great experience. <laughs> what if you actually see like someone who's injured? Like it's a hell of a I, predicament, I, I'm, bro. No, it's not a predicament. You you fucking call nine one one and you get the fuck out of there. Right. See, I've actually not. seen cars broken down so many times while doing the night drives, and I just wave and keep going. You call the professionals. Have you ever seen the movie? <laughs> you leave. Yeah, I'm in Cali. I'm in Cali. The professionals take forever to get there. Fuck you guys that. probably haven't seen this one either. You guys ever seen the movie Urban Legends? Oh, bruh. I used to watch the show. That's a good one. Yeah. So The show's pretty good, too. Yeah. I remember the show, too. It's like, which one's real? One, two, yep. or three? Yep. Urban Legends. Yeah. So, look. Here's... It came here's from... A... Uh, it's fake or not. It's called something else. Back in the day. Sorry, go ahead. So, you know, in Nevada, <laughs> where there's Area 51, right? Mm -hmm. So, my we used to go to Tonopah. I was like, I don't know, 15. We used to drive down there every week, and it's like six-hour drive. And my mom drove an old-ass white Camaro that had, like, cinder box holding up the seats, right, to keep them sitting straight. Well, she was driving with my little sister in the middle of the night to go to Totem Park because they used to stay the weekend and she broke down. Well, when you break down out there, there's like no hitchhiking signs, hella far. And there was a little shack and she ended up walking like two miles with my little sister to the shack. It ended up being like a little weird old bar and she used the phone for somebody to come, you know, tell her whatever. <clears throat> well, the, she said the lady was super nice. There was like another guy in there. She was in there like four hours before somebody came and got her. Well, next time we were going through town, I was with her and we stopped there where she went to get help and it was boarded up. Nobody oh. had been there in like 10 years. And my Ew. mom swore that was the place that she was at. I remember that story. I would have started fucking hyperventilating. I don't know. Should her be mom's weird. just as weird as her. She's into the scary spirit stuff too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love that. I believe it though, because she did break down, and she obviously went somewhere and waited. I mean, to use the phone. why would she lie? Like, there's no, no reason for her to lie. But that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Creepy. Honey, are you okay? You yeah, look so I was hurt. gonna say you look injured. I know, it's just, it really hurts my heart at this <laughs> point. I tried to jump off the cliff over there into the water. Like we did it. There's, a, there's an knife axe, bro. Bro's trying to be one of the lighthouse keepers and fall from the top of the lighthouse. Oh no. Yeah, no parachute. No parachute this time. Thankfully, the kitty lived. He was safe. Imagine how pissed you'd be Heck if yeah. you were the sister, though. Oh my god. I'd throw my brother off the top with the parachute. Oh, damn! Oh, bad. He just came in! Just to hit me! <laughs> my bad. Sorry, it was, it was, the, it was the demon. Like it was the devil I'm taking not, over. I'm not really into heights. That's one thing that I don't really do. Same. I, dude, like I can't even do, like, water slides. I start walking up the stairs and my legs start shaking and shit. <laughs> I'm so boring of a person. I don't do anything. I can't do the roller coasters, the haunted houses, Ferris wheels. Well, guys, this is my face. But you're like the bag holder and the camera guy. So you're the support. You. You're the emotional we support person. You. It's yeah. Bags no. hold snacks. Cameras hold memories. In three hours, I need Karen to come in here so she can check this, and then hopefully we can have new clothes again. What? Yeah, my, this is my face. I like it though. You know, it makes it, you know, can't I, be what? identified. I don't know what happened to your clothes, bro. We didn't, I don't think we changed the clothes pack. What happened? Oops. Uh, this is my new face, guys. I used to the mask off already. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Here, g did you give him We're a We're not even yet? supposed to have those in the city. Mask and stuff. That's why uh, I punched him because I was putting him back on. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even think those are not even supposed to be an item. It's just some of them just happen to be items. That's yeah, I tried my glasses off too. Yeah, that's another personal face now. Stop uh, it. Did you give him a menu? I'm dead. All right now. 
<laughs> I like L E X times three or L E L E X. It's cool. O V D O. Look, we didn't. I don't think. Oh, you might have changed it, guys. You did, you did. Dubs, how long has it been since you've been here? A while. Um, uh, when was Nam? That's when what was I'm Nam? saying. You, you might have changed it uh, to get rid of the because you had like you a got lot the menu? of. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is my face, guys, because I have a mask to zero. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, it's a hat. Fuck. Like, don't scare me like that, bro. It's the hat. Never mind. Yay! Like, you have a face. He's full set since Nam. Give yourself some shoulders, too. Don't be afraid. Or some a chest. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm just saying, you know. You look a little famished. Yeah, yeah. Forget to eat sometimes. <laughs> I always Being forget real. to drink, so I'm always, almost always dying of thirst. I've gotten pretty good at it. I just forget to buy it a lot. I so love I all the store options. Store. I'm gonna put more. Maybe some like cigarettes or something or something to smoke on, something to drink, some alcohol, maybe. We can you guys gonna do like the food truck or what? Nice. That would be fun. I would love to do that with you. I thought I had a cool one. Don't we have a cool truck? Food truck? I think, I think so. it's at the pier, right? But I don't think we can drive it. Uh, but I think we can he has one you can own. Oh, he wanted to give uh, you a garage at some point, too. Yeah. yeah. So. Me? Do you want a garage? Yeah. At your house? I thought I had one. Maybe not. No, no, you don't have a new garage. Here, I'm gonna go to Dubs. Dubs, go to your house when you're done, and then we'll give you a garage, and we'll give Ella a garage. Oh, you remember where you live? Yeah, yeah, I see it on the map. <laughs> yeah. That All right, we can go there first, then, while he's getting dressed. Until hey, I'm out. back. Oh, are you feeling like yourself again? I don't know. I think the mask was more myself now. Oh my god, your eyeballs are red. <laughs> yep. They were white before. Oh no. I need the voice change your thing, or else I'll be like, this is me now. Monster voice. I know. Look at my. I'm going to be my alien. Bro, I've been watching the new show on Netflix called Resident Alien. That shit's pretty interesting. Oh, uh, has he seen your alien? No. No. That's how long he's been going. <laughs> you took me. For, you took my skin from Fortnite, motherfucker. <laughs> Not from Fortnite. Not Fortnite. Do you think aliens are actually little green or gray people, or do you think that they kind of are similar to us? Similar to us. I think they're green, blue, and black. Those are the only three aliens I think we've seen. I mean, my family is alien. They don't. Oh. <laughs> I'm like the huge conspiracy theory. I'm like Joe Rogan. Ex I love conspiracy, conspiracy theories too. Yeah, maybe oh we should God. do a conspiracy night and everyone bring a conspiracy yeah. theory. That'd Lonnie made me a consp conspiracy yeah. theorist. I am. Uh, I know them all. <laughs> That's why I said you made me a consp one. conspiracy theorist. Bro. <laughs> I, I ain't tripping about it either. I'm like flat earther. I'm all of it. Oh, okay, no. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not no flat earther? earther, but I'm like there's dome above us. I'm all of that, bro. <laughs> okay, I told you this... believe it all. Believe it all. <laughs> she bro. Said not the I mean, flat I am open to all the possible um, I love... you know, arguments. Yes. But... I, I got all the best arguments, and I I watch it so much it's really hard to even kind of debate me because how do we open the ped thing again? Slash peds. Open peds. Huh. Hell yeah. 
I was telling people okay, that I think so, there's um, water above us, and they're like, you're huh. weird. Do you uh, believe that we have actually been to the moon, or do you think that was fake? I believe we've been to the moon now. I don't believe the first time we, we First were time there. was fake. But I believe that we've gone to the moon before. I See, I believe that the Earth is in a cycle. So everything happens over and over and over, right? So they've mm -hmm. already said that the world has been... Whether you're religious, whether you're scientists, they say that the world Ice Age or Noah's Ark, whatever, right? So I just think it happens over and over. So we're at the we're like children right now, because if you look at the pyramids, right, it's like the highest mathematics test that we can't even figure out. Like we don't know if it was a power plant. We don't know who actually built it, how they built it. We can speculate hella shit. So it looks like we're just getting dumber and they look like they were already talking to aliens, being visited by aliens or beings. Okay, and not so, only you. Go do, ahead. Sorry. Do you believe in the conspiracy that uh, we are the aliens and we actually came here from, was it Mars or whatever? No. I think like Adam and Eve were the first people. No. I believe that there's possible of the Adam and Eve story. I don't have a problem with the Adam and Eve story at all. I do have a problem with us being aliens in the sense of what we believe to be aliens from other. I believe there are people here or what you call entities here from other galaxies, we could say. Right. But I believe it's like some clone shit, too, that we mostly see. Right. I believe that um, people in this planet have learned how to recreate people a long, 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 long time ago. And so what we typically think as aliens on Earth are just those probably experiments that those people made successfully. Yeah, I'm honest. open to any argument just for the reason of deja vu. Seeing so many shit already in dreams that has ha happened. Yeah. When I'm going to be meeting you guys a while back. Oh, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. I was in high school when I dreamed that. Right. Oh, found it in some old tell. notes. Kinda. I, you know, I've even dreamed of my breakups and this shit still happens. Manifesting. So Maybe like you're like um a sensitive person and you just need to learn how to control it. Like maybe a medium type of person. Ouch. God damn, okay. I wish I was. So I could start seeing when he's gonna hit me. <laughs> uh, my track pad is in the way. Gosh. Forgot that was sensitive right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, but yeah. In aliens and Martians and stuff. Who, me? Or L. <clears throat> you too. Yeah, I believe in. I really, I think, I don't really know what I believe in truly, but I do love all the stories. I think they're very fun. Like, I love yeah, the story cool. of, like, <clears throat> Adam and Eve were, you know, like the first humans made. They were just, they just came from Mars. Like, the, that whole thing. It goes into detail, right. but I don't know. I played, do, have you guys ever played Horizon Zero Dawn? I've yeah. heard of it. Okay, so it's hundreds of years into the future and these tribes you know we're back at the tribal times and these tribes think that these doors that talk are god but in reality they're just doors that have voice activation and it just makes me think like that is what we do is that a door is just a door but because we don't know any better we think it's some crazy thing I don't know how to explain it. But, but then I would have to ask you the question of where would the urge come from to want to make something bigger or more greater than yourself? Where would that urge come from? <laughs> Jeez. I need to go back into PC. Right? I, I feel like sense, we're, we're, we're never satisfied and we just want to know more. Like, for instance, like how about for myself, test subjects? I want to know more about the paranormal and I want to keep investigating until I have concrete proof that it's real. Like we just, cause there's just so much unknown that we just feel like we have to go after. I don't yeah, know. Uh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, Ellie, if they gave you an opportunity to go through a portal 
to meet more of the paranormal, would you? If there's a guarantee that I come back safe. Okay, okay. But if not, then no. You would go through the portal? If there's a guarantee that I would be able to come back safely, yes, I would. Here, I'm standing here as an alien. Like, don't yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> what what do you think side. about time travel? Do you think it's real? I feel like it is. I've been seeing a lot more stars pop up everywhere about stuff like that. That's blowing my mind. Bro, they stop the clouds from moving. Yeah. That's how I know oh, speaking of clouds, do you think that the government controls the weather? I think they oh, see yeah. the clouds. Yeah. I cannot I deny or confirm that answer. Cloud seeding is real, right? Can we agree that cloud seeding yeah, is real? Yeah, I mean, yeah, 100%. That's been so confirmed. Would that be some type of trying to control the weather? I guess so. In a way, yeah. yeah. So, like I said, when I was young, clouds moved all the time. There was never a day where clouds just really just sat still in the sky. All right. There's never a day now where they move. <laughs> like, they just sit there. Like, it's crazy. I used to watch them collide all the time and make other stuff. Like, it's just weird. I think they have, it's not weather control, but I think they have weapons that could actually like, they're like sonic boom type shit. And I think they can cause earthquakes. That's what I think. Vibrations and certain yeah, things. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah. What do you think, think about um, MK Ultra? Do you know that one? That's that's true. That's I believe I that, yeah. Oh, uh, what not? What's his name? Charles Manson? Or whatever his name was. Charles. Yeah. He was, he's a, if you ever really listen to him or watch his story, he's almost like proof. He's dead now, but he's like proof that they did that shit and they like tried to fuck people over, bro. That shit's hell scouts. Proof. So scary. And they locked him up for hell of years. And... But like in San Francisco, they had a clinic out there where they were like literally taking hippies, putting them in there. And like they uh, made it yep, seem yep, like it yep. was a Heard about that. kick out spot, but it wasn't. They were in there trying to mind control these people. Right. And but they, I look at it like they weren't the first people trying to do this. Right. Like they learned it from somewhere. They saw other people. You know what I mean? Like so for thousands of years, people have been trying to figure out how to control people's minds and they oh, figured yeah. it out. Some people have figured it out through deception, right? Like slide a hand of make you, you know, that's just deception. That's nothing, you know. But then other people I think have actually took a deeper and learned how to really use some dark forces if they're out there. Ask manipulation and shit, like manipulating you, just literally taking over you. That's crazy shit, bro. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Fuck yeah. Psycho. But yeah, what's new with all y'all? It's been a minute. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I'm finally into coding. I started intro to software development. My class and I went okay, part time okay. so I can focus on school. Yay. Nice, Yay. nice, nice. Glad you actually threw it. I'm still thinking about the IT classes. Because we're going to hire both of you guys when GTA 6 comes out. Well, being uh -huh, honest, be the only fun. reason... Yeah. The I would only do reason it for not, free for y'all. The only uh, reason I'm not trying to go back to like IT stuff is because I once before knowing y'all was into hacking. Yep. And so I don't want to go back to it. Damn, can you Dude. hack into the... Credit Can you hack it? Yeah, and change whoa, 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 mine whoa, whoa, too, whoa. please. 7, 750. I'd 100. say 804. Yeah. It, it, it's for 200, Todd. I was basic hacking, like hacking to people's phones and take over their phones and computers, but nothing yeah, like that. It, maybe school work too, maybe question mark. Allegedly, Again. if somebody's here, build some shit for us. We had a guy at work that was doing that phone hack shit and was yeah. coming in with trinkets and shit. Like, I just ordered two flipper zeros, which can hack into anything. So I'm going to try it out hacking an iPhone. 
I can't trust you. See, he would be like, let me see your phone, man. I could hook you up. With yeah, this or that. don't do I it. I could put a thousand games on your phone. Don't do want. it. It's I won't like, do it to no, y'all. No, that's don't what they all it. say, bro. And then they like prank you. And it's like, now you can't. Pop up on your you house, are, so we'll you, follow you over there. You guys are too good. That way we can give you a garage. Oh, okay. He to, I swear he said that all the time.